The Turkish Prime Minister Recep Tayyip Erdogan received today a Bahraini parliamentary delegation headed by Speaker Khalifa bin Ahmed Zahrani, currently on a visit to Istanbul. During the meeting, Erdogan asked the Bahraini delegation to convey his greetings to His Majesty the King and their Royal Highnesses the Prime Minister and the Crown Prince. He stressed that he follows developments in Bahrain closely and that he appreciates the outstanding climate of tolerance in the kingdom for its freedom, openness and democracy. Erdogan said that Turkey is concerned in the stability of Bahrain and supports the efforts and initiatives of His Majesty the King to overcome any crisis and the concentration on the dialogue of national consensus with the participation of all parties and the application of the recommendations of the Independent Commission for Inquiry. He stressed the need to take advantage of each other in many areas such as IT, the industrial and military industry sectors, infrastructure projects and construction. The Minister of State for Electricity and Water Affairs, Dr. Abdul Hussein Mirza, patronized today at the Crown Plaza Hotel the opening of the leadership conference organized by Bahrain Chapter of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of India and the GCC states. Indian Ambassador to Bahrain, Dr. Mohan Kumar, attended the conference, which attracted over 120 chartered accountants from Bahrain, Saudi Arabia, the UAE, Qatar and India. Addressing the event, Dr. Mirza highlighted the basic challenges facing chartered accountants in big companies. He also pointed out to his personal itinerary over the past 40 years, which took him from his position as Babco chief executive officer to a government minister. The conference discusses the role of chartered accountants in policy formulation, regulations, framing and implementation, as well as the rapidly changing role of technology, corporate governance, risk management, compliance and wealth management. A parliamentary committee of inquiry on housing recommended to dismiss the salary of the wife on all the services provided by the Ministry of Housing. The recommendations, which stipulated the need to raise the maximum monthly income for both husband and wife requesting for housing unit to 1,200 BD and for housing loan to 1,600 BD, will be discussed by the Representatives' Council at its next meeting. The committee asked the Ministry of Housing to respond to its recommendations within a period not exceeding two weeks to raise the report to the Council. The former Vice President of Taiwan, Lu Xiulian Annette, who is also a goodwill ambassador of BPW International, is heading to Bahrain tonight to award the President's Gold Award to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. The Prime Minister is the winner of the BPW International President's Gold Award for his pivotal role in empowering women in the kingdom. Through the enhancement of education and entrepreneurship amongst women in private and public sectors, Bahrain's women have become the most empowered in the Middle East and topped the GCC in the UNDP's Gender Inequality Index 2012. In politics, Bahraini women gained the right to vote and become candidates in national elections since 2002. Women have been appointed ministers and elected members of the National Assembly and the Upper House. The establishment of the Supreme Council for Women is another example of His Royal Highness' pioneering leadership. The Prime Minister's great efforts to promote Bahrain's women's rights have made Bahrain the leader in the GCC and his achievements have won him several prestigious awards, including the UNESCO Avicenna Award and the UN Millennium Development Goals Prize. Bahrain's women's achievement have inspired the world and His Royal Highness efforts have made him a strong candidate in the BPW International President's Gold Award nomination. This Gold Award is given to the male leader who has demonstrated his commitment to gender equality and the economic empowerment of women. I learned that uh, His Highness launched a reform starting from 2000 and 2001 and quickly in one decade that women enjoy the right to vote, to participate in the government and the parliament. More and more women are appointed to serve the government and more and more women are developing their own career. They are empowered politically, economically, and socially. 
I'm so happy to see that because in my country, Taiwan, I began to advocate for feminist movement. But it took us 30 years to give up women's status. Now women in Taiwan enjoy as much liberty and, and equality as men do. But in your great kingdom, it only takes 10 years. So you are really a miracle maker. Actually, the, the woman empowerment is not exactly the kind of uh, the determinant or the resources. It is the willingness of the government. So it is more or less a policy or strategy. Resources are like oil, res oil reserve and manpower and so on, while woman empowerment is a kind of decision of the government to do with women resources, right? So I think this willingness or the policies play more important role than the factors or the resources themselves. In that regard, this women empowerment plays a very important role in enhancing the level of national competitiveness. So women empowerment plays not only a role as a kind of, uh, as a part of labor, but also as a consumer. This women plays a very important role. It is almost impossible for a nation to become an advanced nation without women playing a very important role, not only as a supplier of labor, but also as a consumer. And my message also for the young generation is to respect women, because also my experience is woman to woman, also they can be very, very hard to, to go through the empowering situation. And uh, in the life, I learn that it is not the matter of the ego to go and to reach something. It is the matter of the legacy. When you do and you are in power, in which kind of way did you got this situation or you are in power? Because the legacy of behavior and the way that you are empowered, this is important.